Welcome back. Just completed my shift. If you saw my short, it would be the video before this. Don't be I don't know, down below, but energetically, this one's here, this one's there. But nonetheless, um, we'll see what happens here. Um, all right, programming. I have no idea. I did not pre-program this. We'll see what happens. Um, much love. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. Thank you. I am grateful. If you like this, I move up in the algorithm. If you subscribe, more people see this. And blessings come to you from Archangel Raphael and St. Germain. Say nothing. Just grateful. All right. Here we go. Um, I have no idea. I do not control this. But I don't control much of anything. All right. Here we go. Love you. Welcome back. We were hoping Josh would decide to channel. He is very tired. So we would have not felt... That he was ignoring the push, but just tired from being on his feet. We are grateful you are here. We are Archangel Raphael and Saint Germain. We are here to discuss programming. The programming you see on your ABC, your NBC, and your CBS. Or wherever you are on planet Earth, be it BBC, or the Australian broadcast channels. Whatever it is, wherever you are, if you are watching it on a box in front of you and you are sitting down, you are being programmed. Even watching this is a form of programming, but better to be programmed to learn your universe than to be programmed to be in disunity with all universes. Why do you get pro allow yourselves to listen to programming of disunity? When you hear things like these lives matter, don't all lives matter? Hmm. Why do you allow yourselves to be disunified? To be programmed to be disunified? Why? Do you even pay attention to the messages that you absorb? The programming that you listen to? The magazines that you read? Do you know who even owns those? Or do you just read these magazines wrote and take in the information and become that information? Do you think about what you are reading? Do you put your heart through the filter of what you are reading. Are you filtering what you are reading through your heart? Or are you reading it and accepting it as it is? Are you thinking in your universe? Are you thinking about what you are seeing? The programming that you are seeing? If you actually sat down and watched, truly watch, truly watch your news. You would see that it is not specifically news. They even tell you they are stories. Each little segment is a story. A minute, three minutes. Just enough to whip up the energies they want to whip up. Why do you allow that? Again, as we go all the way back, this is your universe. What are you allowing into your universe? What are you creating? What is the larger field creating? If you are allowing it into your universe, it is now passing into the larger field through you. This is where the disunity comes in because now everyone is programmed differently. There are grand programs like These Lives Matter or This or That that you fall in trap to 
Well, that takes you out of yourself and your presence. It does not help anything. It brings us into grand disunity instead of grand source love unity. What do you want to create in your planet? Disunity? Keep it up. You're doing a great job. Some of you do not even realize that what you are watching is not even the title of the program. It is totally fake in some cases. We are not stating that you... What we are stating, to be honest with you, is to turn the box off. If you can do so, stop being programmed. Why are most of your television shows violent? Have you thought about that? More disunity they are sowing in your universe. Why do you allow that? As a collective, as the one Grand Source Love, why do you, as Grand Source Love, as one, allow these things to be programmed into your universe? Again, the people doing the programming, those who are programming the un grander universe, there are not that many. If the larger of you stepped up and said, we will no longer want to live like this, we do not want to see violence, we do not want to see people killing each other, we would like to see love. We would like to see stories of positivity where people are lifted up out of situations where you never thought they could come from to become their best and highest loving selves. Why are you not creating this universe? Instead, you watch things where people are harming each other. You have videos on the same platform of people being robbed and this and that and assaulted and, and humiliated. Why? Why does this seem to be entertainment to you? Are you getting off on other people's misery? Why? Where is your love? Why? Why would you even bring that into your field to watch somebody's sad worst day? Somebody who slips on ice and smashes their head open and you go, ha, 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 he slipped on the ice. No, somebody now is in the hospital. Their family is in pain. They may have lost wages. There is trauma behind all of that and a lot of possible drama in that family's life. And instead you sit there and you laugh because that chap slipped on the ice. When will, you, when will you grow up and realize that you are that chap that slipped on the ice? I am not here to chastise you. I am here to wake you up out of your slumber so that you see that you are creating a universe that is spinning itself like a dervish into nowhere but disunity. Is that what you want as a planet when you are a grand source unified love? Hmm. It is all your choice. Again, it comes to your universe first. What are you doing in your universe to create Grand Source Love? To realize that you are Grand Source Unified Love? To live like you are Grand Source Unified Love? Or are you watching videos of people slipping on ice and cracking their head open when the camera turns away then you haven't seen? Hmm. What are you bringing into the Grand Source Love universe then? Hmm. It is all your choice. You can be of the violet flame and step into it and clear some of that garbage that you carry around. Or you can step into the violent flame that you are creating on your planet. It is your choice. But I tell you, you will not last long if you continue to step into the violent flame. It is all humanity's choice. But it all starts in your universe first. Are you cultivating love? Or are you cultivating hate? 
Are you cultivating a universe of peace and bringing that peace into other universes that you traverse on your daily travels? Or are you in the back of your mind laughing at the person who slipped on the ice and then watching as people slip on ice in your actual universe and maybe laugh as well? I hope at least you bend down and give them a hand to pick them up while you are snickering at their unfortunate incident. It could just be you as well, and technically it really is. I hope you see that. It is all your choice. What universe do you want to create? Hmm. When you go to bed at night, are you peace inside yourself? Or are you in disunity? Are you programmed when you go to sleep to be in disunity? Hmm. If you would just realize that you are grand source love on planet Earth, just here to experience whatever you are experiencing at that moment. Not to be part of some agenda, some programming, some I am cool because I have this card in my wallet. Your wallet doesn't even exist. Hmm. What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Do you think about these things? Or do you dervish through your universe? Do you think about what you read? We said this before, but it's a very important statement. When you read a magazine, do you truly know who owns that magazine? Hmm. If you are reading something, do you know who wrote it? Do you know their agenda? Do you know their political persuasion? Do you know how they think? Why are you absorbing these things? Create your own interpretation. You may read these things, but do not read these things without thinking afterwards. Put your hand on your heart and go, what I just read, is that vibrate with me? Don't just take these things as rote as people do. You do take things as rote that come into your universe. Why? Why do you do so? Why do you not sit back and contemplate the information, the programming that is coming at you at such a fast pace? It is all your choice. What do you want to gin up? What kind of universe do you want to live in? One that is programmed that cre creates an automaton? Somebody who lives rote to what they read and see? Or somebody who's free thinking, loving and caring, and takes the information that comes into the universe and filters it through their heart? Hmm, who do you want to be? Can you slow down and at least see what's coming at you? Or do you just dervish through Absorbing it all. The choice is yours. But do you even make that choice? Most of you are just subconsciously walking around in your super egos, dealing with this, that, and the other, and absorbing everything that's coming at you without any sort of real discernment. It is all your choice. You can discern or you cannot. But if you do not discern, then your universe will be rather jumbled. Because it will have all of the information and you will be acting through. It will be part of who you are, all that information, the this programming. And I am part of that group. And, and I believe in this. And this, but what you believe then is wrong because I believe in this. And you are all one. I don't care what you believe, but it doesn't matter. If you learn that you are one and can accept everybody's universe for what it is, you can stop these games. But you choose to perpetuate these. Why? Why? If you realize that you are being programmed against somebody, then why continue listening to the programming? Do you realize that a large portion of your programs, programming that you absorb is to disunify you, to step you away from each other, to make you separate as I am me. You are not the body. There is no me. You are just grand source energy love. 
you cannot be anything but, as that's all you are. The body technically does not even exist. It is just whirling molecules and atoms, but it is in this universe, grand universe, with your mind that you can slow down and see it as solid. Hmm. But you do not slow down enough to see if the information, the programming that is coming at you is solid. Do you? Do you discern anything or do you dervish through? Those who do not discern, are you discerning then the energies of the people that come into your universe as well? What do you discern? Do you go to a job interview and not only interview, let them interview you, but do you interview for the, the corporation itself? Because for you to work there, it should meet your standards that you carry as well, should it not? But most of us do not. We just go in there groveling with energies of, I need a job, please help me. If you would investigate your universe and what comes at it, you might be better off. All of this programming that we have, how to do this, how we should behave, not only programming from a box that tells you about your universe, but the programming you get from your parents from age zero through seven. That kind of programming does not work. Everybody's in their own universe. Whether their universe is, you would say, healthy or not, that's a judgment, but if that person thinks their universe is healthy or not, there we go. You have people who cannot function against themselves, who do not know how to take care of themselves, trying to raise children. Their universe is in this disharmony, this dysfunction. Then they are bringing another universe, a child, who is in their own universe that the parent cannot see into in certain ways. So you have a parent who is in dysfunction and in some cases may not love themselves. And now they are raising a child. They are programming this child with the I do not love myself as the parent and putting off that energy of I do not love myself. So what are they passing on to their child's universe? What are they programming into that child? Will that child then be programmed to, I don't love myself, just like mom, or just like dad? Are you even paying attention to how you behave when you are around your child? What you are passing on? Or are you dervishing through their lives too? In your ego? Your super ego, just trying to meet your needs and your wants and desires. Slow down and pay attention to these things. You would be better off. Your child definitely would. It is our choice. You make this choice. You allow the programming from your parents to be passed down. There's no choice, actually, in that. It comes down to you. But you allow it to continue into your adulthood. When you know that some of your behaviors may be off kilter, you continue anyways because it's comfortable, because that's the programming that you have. If you know that you are not in a space that is, say, proper for who you are anymore, but you allow it to continue then why would you take old programming that you know is no longer good or useful to you, but continue to use it anyways? That is like plugging in an older version of Windows into your current newer version computer. Again, Bill Gates. But nonetheless, I digress. Why would you run off old software that is no longer working for you? You must think about these things. Or not, it is your choice. The point is, in all of this, is that you allow the programming that comes into your life from the box, from your radio, from commercials, and print, and such. You allow the programming that your friends put into your universe in order to sometimes fit in. You do things that you do not want to do to fit in 
Why? Why would you not stand in your own light as source love and honor yourself? Why then we mumble under our breath while doing things we don't want to do with people we truly may not even want to be with? Why do we do these things? These are things you must think about or not. The choice is yours. You see where we're going here. All these are your choices. When you complain about your life and your universe, don't come to me. Well, you can, and I might be able to help. But at that moment, don't come to me. I'm not going to be able to instantly fix it. You created your universe. I could come to you in time when you are ready and help you clear your universe through the violet flame and through helping see where you are creating your universe through your thoughts and actions and allowing of programming. But you have to be ready for that, are you? If you are, call upon me, St. Germain. Call upon me and I will come. I will help you to clear your universe and see where you are creating a universe of disharmony, where what you actually don't want in your energetic field is what you are bringing in. It is all your choice. Be happy or not, it's all your choice. With everything you say, with every action you take, with everything you do that goes against what you want in the first place. Again, we go back to the person at Weight Watchers. Why do they then go into the grocery store and buy a cake? We're not making fun of anybody specific or anything at all. Why does somebody who only has a dollar spend it on a candy bar? It doesn't matter. It's just stating a fact that when you want something, say, a new car, but yet you spend all of your money on frivolous things, but you do not save for the new car. It's your choice. That's what we're getting at. You want something, but yet your actions go against what you want. You want love, but you do not love yourself, is the grand one. Everybody out there wants to be loved. But do you think you can find true love or real love or somebody who will love you unconditionally if you cannot unconditionally love yourself? Again, this universe mirrors everything that you put out. You get it back. Sometimes I think that humanity is programmed. We are all programmed to be disunified and enjoy it. To be programmed to be unhappy. And enjoy that. I do not know. But if you do not discern what the advice you get, if you do not discern what you see on the TV screen, if you do not discern what you read in your print media, then you are not creating your own universe. Your universe is being created by those who are feeding you. If you understand that, you could step past that. If you slow down and get pen and paper and write down what you see your universe is, my universe is, colon, write it out. You don't have to write a lot. Just fill the page as much as you can until you block and then stop. And then truly sit back and see, truly, you have to break through your own lies, though, because you lie to yourself continuously about your lives. But if you can break through all of that, then you could truly see what your universe is. And is it what you truly want? It will be on paper. Generally speaking, those who do that find that what they want and what they have are polar opposites. You are allowing programming to create a universe that you do not want. Step back, slow down, and look into your universe. Any good business has to take inventory, has to look at its processes, find ways to improve. Do you do that? Or are you dervishing through your universe? Are you coming home and sitting down and watching your television, drinking beers, or doing things that are not bringing the best of you. Allowing you to learn who you are. Allowing you to learn that you are grand source love on planet Earth. Or are you doing things that take you away from that? 
that take you out of the unity that you are, <coughs> to bring you into disunity? Are you watching programming that says that you are not source love, that you are just you, the flesh body? Or are you watching programs that it tell you that you are grand source love, that show how people can help each other, how we can make each other better, how we can be the best of ourselves? The choice is yours. What do you bring into your universe from programming will reflect in your lives. If you are watching violence and disharmony and people, the repo shows where the truck comes and whips off somebody's car and they come running out in their pajamas and you get to watch all that and absorb all that trauma. What kind of joyful life do you think you're carrying around? How is your universe? What are you framing your universe to be then? It's all your choice. See that it is your choice. You sit down, you watch that program. You watch the repo television show. You carry that energy then out of your house. People losing their grand possessions, although they never owned those cars to begin with, but they were gifted those cars through the universe. Then they have them whipped away because they could not make the payments. If you get pleasure from that, what kind of universe are you creating? What are you sending to the grand universal field? It's all your choice. Please, take inventory of your universes. See what you are carrying out of the house. Please, stop being so blind to how you are and start consciously living. I am asking as a favor for all of humanity needs you to be conscious of your universes because at this moment, everyone is kind of dovishing around and you can see what the results are. If we can stop when we wake up and realize grateful as Grand Source Love to be here on planet Earth as this avatar named, in this case, Josh, for example. Do you see it? Do you get it? Are you understanding? Can you slow down just enough to see into your universe instead of screaming through everyone else's? It is not hard, but it is your choice. We are very grateful that you listen to these transmissions. The channeling is important because we are here to help humanity slow down and just look into your lives and see what you are carrying out there. It is all about energy and frequency. What are you carrying into the world, into your universe? Because that creates the grander universe, which right now is not very aligned in Grand Source Love on planet Earth. It is growing every day into Grand Source Love. But that alignment, we must, we must learn to love each other. Those who you allow, again, there are seven plus billion minus the few thousand that are really in control of your governments and such. It is your choice to allow or disallow them to create disunity, to to control the grander universe, to send energies of disunification, of separation. There again, there are seven plus billion of you. It will only take so many of you to overpower them with your love. It's not complicated. It is all your choice. Do not choose. See what your results are. Choose. See what your results are. Honestly, you know which results you'd rather have, I would imagine. Love. But you do nothing to create that, and you do not get off your couch to, from the television to help bring that into the grander field, do you? So when you say you want to see a peaceful world, what are you doing to create that? What are you bringing out of yourself? What's the best that you can bring from yourself in your universe to help the grander universe 
We all can be loving. But you sit there and watch your television. Why? But you know that you want to help, but you do nothing. Why? It is your choice. It is not mine to make. It is yours. What do you want your universe to be? Loving or couch potatoed? It is your choice. When you are no longer on the earth plane and are back with Grand Source Love, will you then regret or at least go, ah, oh, I missed the opportunity as Grand Source Love to bring Grand Source Love to the larger field. It is your choice. You are here now. You can do that now by getting off the couch and being of love, by helping people, by hugging others, just by wishing others favor on a daily basis. Maybe paying somebody's coffee, paying it forward. There are lots of things that you can do that brings love to the Grand Source field. But again, I digress, it's your choice. You can have a planet of whatever you want, or you can have an awesome planet of love that lifts everybody up where there is no poverty, because the poverty one person is the poverty yourself. It is all your choice. What about your schools? More programming. There is a sort of school called a Montessori school on your, on earth that where children can grow as they choose. I do not know of the curriculum. I guess each Montessori would be spectacularly different per se, but it allows a child to grow at their pace and flower, so to speak, instead of being rotely taught with 30 other children the same way, with no thought that everybody is unique in their own universe. As a society, as a planet, I don't know how you would expect to move forward if you are teaching 30 children who see 30 things, the same thing, 30 different ways. How will you move forward? Nobody is in unity in any aspect. You are not teaching to the individual's energies. You are teaching as wrote, trying to collectivize the 30 children into one energy, forcibly learning this way. Does it work? Most children are not happy in school. Most children are pretty fidgety. It is when a child is learning who is a visual learner, gets visual learning, or when a child is a listening learner, learns listening through listening, and it is respected in that manner that they learn. But again, what are they being programmed? <laughs> that is the real question. Are they learning that they are grand source love? Are they learning that they are here to pull levers at a factory? Hmm. Well, depending on where you are, you may not even be learning that, as a large portion of those on your planet do not even go to school. So there is nothing other than the programming from the fam family or maybe some elders. It is a shame that you cannot realize that everybody is equally important, that there is no grand source love bigger in you than bigger in them, than bigger or better than you. Nobody's energy is more worthy than anybody else's. Everybody from the littlest child who has nothing to the richest parent, richest people on the planet. There is no difference in their grand source love energy that actually creates who they are. That being the case, why do you allow certain people then to not be educated at all? Yet some of you get programming that costs thousands, if not more. Hmm. Why is that? Why do you disallow these things? Why do you not stand up and go, I will not stand for this? Why are there people on your planet who have no food? 
Why would you allow for that? It is all your choice. Again, are you programmed to not care? You might be. You might not be. I do not know your programming. Only you do. That is why I'm asking you to slow down and look into what you've been programmed. Look into the interest things that you are interested in. Why? Why are you interested in these things? Why do you follow X, Y, and Z, per se, in the news, or this or that or the other? Have you ever understood yourself as to why I create, I like these energies, or I vibrate with this bit of information? It might behoove you to do so. We're going to slowly wrap this up, but do realize that even this could be considered programming. It is all how you view it. Put your hand on your heart whenever you hear something that you are absolutely unsure of. If you know in your heart that this is for me, go with it. If there is disunity in your heart, if you can slow down enough to filter information through your heart, if you find disunity in your heart, please then look at the information. Give it more of a research. Who's writing the information? Where did it come from? Who funded it? How did it get to you? What is their goals? Do they align with you? Don't just take these things as rote and be them. We are dehydrating Josh, so we are going to release transmission shortly here. But we want to say that we love you. We want to say, love each other. And we want to say, stop watching your television as it is programming you into a universe that you do not want to have. You are thinking that you want this, but you are creating that. We are asking for you to slow down and write down what you see in your universe. My universe is. It is not complicated. Then really sit down after you've written this. And look at your universe. Is it what you've written down? Is what you've written down what you really want? That would be the second thing. I want my universe to be this. Colon. And write it out. But again, your choice. Those who dervish through their universes get dervished results. We love you. We are Saint Germain and Archangel Raphael, and we have channeled. We will see you tomorrow. We will discuss love. What you think love is. Why love has to be conditional in your universe. Why you cannot just love everybody as Grand Source love. Do you know you are the grand source love that you are looking for in the first place from everybody else in your universe? You want from others love, but do not know you are love within yourself. We will discuss these things tomorrow. This is a very important topic. Releasing transmission. Ooh. All right, um, I don't know, it sounded jumbled. It always sounds jumbled, like, none of this made any sense. Like, I'm putting out something that, like, is an incoherent mess, but it's not. I listened to the one, uh, the sixth one, and, ugh, ugh, grateful. I don't know what's going on. I'm just grateful for my universe. Grateful that you are part of my universe. I'll give you the story of my universe one day as well. Right now, it's being told to focus on the channeling. But I will give you the story of my universe one day. And, um, yeah. Seven years of the dark night of the soul. Grateful. That's where I got tapped on. But our, our kid to ref, I was like, that's enough. You're done. And I got, like, really, literally tapped, well, poked in the shoulder. Like, hey. You guys stop this. And uh, it's been up uphill ever since. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but uh, here we are. Grateful. I love you. Hope you love yourself. What are you creating? Watch your programming. 
have some discernment. The biggest thing that I'm getting from all of that is have discernment in what you allow into your universe. You want to go watch Faces of Death, party on. But, you know, it's up to you what you want in your universe. What do you think you'll create? Love you. Love you more than anything. Grateful. Subscribe. Like. And uh, remember, you are creating your universe with every thought, every action, and every deed. See you tomorrow. Love you.